loves, how are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I want to do a walkthrough for you guys. And this is um, a really pretty um, deck. I really like this deck. This was like my second deck I think I ever got. This is called Crow Tarot. And this is created by MJ Cullinane. And she um, has some new decks that are going to be coming out. Um, her artwork is beautiful. I absolutely love her decks. She has um, the Enchanted for Haxa Tarot coming out, Urban Crow Oracle, Guardian of the Night, Roar Oracle, and Grimalkin's Curious Cat Tarot. Um, some of them are out now. Um, I believe the other ones are pre-order. I think the Enchanted Foraxia is um, done now. The Urban Crow Oracle, I believe, is done now. And I think the other ones are, um, you you have to prepay for those. Um, so let's get into this deck. This deck is really pretty. Um, there's the box. And this was published in 2019, and this is a U.S. games deck. I believe it was right around $24, $25 U.S. that I paid for this. Um, so on the back, it says, um, Paying homage to the mystical energies of crow and ravens, Crow Terror invites us to fly through the veil and connect with our intuitive powers. This artfully created 78 card deck is infused with the familiar symbols of the traditional Rider Waite tarot, making it ideal for both beginners and professional readers. The 88 card, 88 page guidebook presents upright and reverse meanings and includes a custom crow tarot spread. So very nice box, hardcover box. Nothing fancy. It just opens up and there is your book and your cards. Okay. So let's look at the book. The book, um, let's see here. It says, uh, Crow Tarot, Fly Through the Veil. And it has some explanations about that. I'm not going to read all this, guys. Um, and then it goes into the Major Arcana. And then it goes into the minor, and then it has your spread. Um, I think it has, let me read about MJ. Um, there is MJ. And it says, MJ is a Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crows. She attended Parsons School of Design, Yet her unique technique of telling stories through digital collage is self-taught and has been her passion for over 10 years. Um, nature and its creatures are a familiar theme in MJ's work. However, having grown up in south, uh, south of Boston, her col collages are heavily influenced by the energy of the city. Her work often merges the two worlds. Her path into the tarot world was a beautiful accident that came out of a difficult time in her life. The process of creating Crow Tarot helped her rediscover her own wings. Though at the time she didn't realize how life-changing the project would become. She simply fell in love with the process, the messages, and the feeling each card invoked. The Crow Tarot, MJ's first published deck, has achieved a significant following and recognition with Crow lovers and the tarot community. When MJ is not making art or writing for her Crow Tarot blog, she is spending time with her daughter, River, playing in nature, practicing magic, and finding new sources of inspiration. So this was her first deck that she did. So that's awesome to know. So let's get into these cards. Beautiful cards. Um, I love this deck. Here is the backs. I'm not wild about the backs of these cards. Um, I mean, they're just plain. Nothing fancy. 
with the deck. They are um, a little glossy, um, but the fronts, they don't look glossy. You know what I mean? Okay, so she does these cards um, a little bit different. Um, I did etch this deck in a black matte. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the book here. Um, so the first card that we have here is the Fool card. Put something under my arm. I very short. So, okay. So here's the fool. I love the designs on these cards. I think they're beautiful. We have the magician, and these shuffle really well. Um, both riffle shuffling and you know the side shuffle. Here we have the High Priestess with her veil. That's the front of the box. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant, I love that key there on the Hierophant. Here we have the lovers. I love the flower down there or the heart. I'm not sure what that is. To me, it looks like a uh, heart. Here's the chariot. I wish the chariot would have been a little bit different. You know, maybe uh, some kind of a, I don't know. I just, I wish it would be a little different. I like the idea of the black and the white, um, you know, with something pulling maybe. Here we have strength. I love this strength card. It has the infinity symbol. It has that beautiful lion with the flowers there. I love it. Here's the hermit, another great card. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. I started off doing this and I did realize the cards were not in order. So I had to put them in order so we started over again. So here is the Hanged Man. Temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, love these cards. The sun. Judgment. And the world. Okay. So there is your major arcana. Now she, um, when she, I, I do my walkthroughs the way that they have them in the book. She um, did it starting with the king of king, and then she works all the way up to ace. Okay, so she kind of does it backwards from most. So first we're gonna do wands, okay? And um, I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. So here is the king of wands. I love the lion on here. Queen of Wands. Here's your knight. I love that she has the horse on here for the knight. And here we have our page. 
So for the next um, set of the uh, cards, um, she just has the wand on here. She doesn't have any writing on here. So you need to be familiar with your, you know, your soups here. So there's your wands. So this would be your 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I love that. Your 5 of Wands. The 4 of Wands. Your 3 of Wands. Here's the two of wands. I love those birds on there with the white through them. I, I just love that. And I love this ace of wands. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So then we go to the king of cups. That's how she has them listed in her book. There's the king of cups. Your Queen of Cups. Your Knight of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Again, nothing um, saying cups on here, but you have to look at your symbols. So there's your cups. So it's your Ten of Cups. Your Nine of Cups. Eight. Seven. Oops. The Six. The five. Oh, it looks so sad. Your four. Three of cups. Your two of cups. And the ace of cups. Beautiful. All right, so we have the swords next. So here is your king of swords. Oops, sorry. My arm is falling off. Your queen of swords. I can't wait to see her other decks, guys. The knight of swords. So they are on order, so when I get them, I will link all these videos, hopefully, together if I remember to do all that, so that you guys can just see the de different decks that she has. The Page of Swords. Here is the Ten of Swords. So you have to look at the swords, you know, remember that that's the swords. Here is the Nine of Swords. Eight. I'm not used to going backwards, so. Seven. Five. I love that curl there. So neat. <clears throat> Here's the four. 
啊。We have the two. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so then uh, we're going to the Pentacles. And we have the King of Pentacles. And you got to look at your pentacle. The queen of pentacles. Beautiful. Your knight of pentacles. I love that black and white horse. Page of pentacles. And then we're on to the Ten. Ten of Pentacles. Nine. Here's your Eight. Seven. Six. Here's your five. I love the tree there. This one's really cool. Uh, the four. I love, love that for some reason. I just... Here's your three. And I love the two um, of pentacles. I love, did she put the infinity sign on there? I love that. And here is your beautiful ace of pentacles. Awesome deck, I absolutely love it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put these cards together and I'm going to pull a pull for you guys so I can read uh, out of here and show you what, she, you know, one of the cards that she is talking about. These cards are bigger than um, a normal size carrot. So they are, for me, a little harder to shuffle because I have such tiny hands. But they do shuffle nice. Very nice. Okay. So, angels, guides, and spirits, give me a card uh, for my viewers, please. A card that will help them out. Help us out a little bit. We have the King of Pentacles. So let's look up the King of Pentacles. I forget she goes backwards here. Okay, <clears throat> so here's the card. King of Pentacles. And in the book it says key words. Okay, it says money, growth, luxury, um, apprenticeship, artistic. The element, of course, is earth. Um, and it says, uh, it will be hard for life to get any better for this king crow. His savvy skills earn him an abundance of riches. And he lives a most luxuri luxurious lifestyle. His heart is pure gold with the wings outstretched. He shares all that he has accumulated from material possessions to his acquired knowledge. He is always ready to help those around him reach their potential. 
This King of Pentacles brings the message to live a life of determination, grace, and good heart. In doing so, you too will find yourself living an abundant life. When reverse, the King of Pentacles is overly extravagant and focuses too much on his out outward wealth and status. So that's awesome, guys. Um, you know, you're going to have to look at things. You know, life, determination, grace, and a good heart is going to get you to where you want to be. That abundance in life. I love it. So... Here's the king. So I hope this helps. Um, guys, uh, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you like this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean the absolute world to me. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time.